Americana is alive in small town America, and it's no different just 15 miles west of Charlotte, North Carolina. In the former textile town of Cramerton, a little known history lives, and it all started with Stuart W. Kramer, Sr. Uh, my grandfather was a, uh, an 1888 graduate of Annapolis Naval Academy. He, of course, at those days had to wear the wool uniforms that were common. And the wool uniforms were uh, handy in the winter, but the rest of the year, it wasn't really a good lightweight uniform. Uh, his son, Stuart Jr., was a graduate of the uh, United States Military College at West Point, along with uh, his good friend, General Patton. Cramerton Mills addressed the need for warm weather military uniforms and was awarded the government contract to make uniforms for the Army and Navy. The weather is very important with the, the fabric and the ability of American soldiers to be well clothed and uh, um, fight the war without being too hot or too cold or too wet. It makes all the difference because they can get down to the business of fighting the enemy. Well, certainly the heart the citizens put into their work showed on the shoulders of our soldiers. This product, the 8.2 ounce Cramerton Twill Army Cloth, as it became known, was ideal. The contributions to the war effort did not go unnoticed. And in 1942, the military awarded the town of Cramerton with the Army Navy E Award. And the award is Award of Excellence. It was known as Excellent and Efficiency. And I think that's what gave credibility to the whole thing. To be recognized by the federal government for our contribution to the Army war effort, that was so outstanding that it, uh, it, just, it, it just makes you well up. The majority of the, the workers in the mills at that time were all women. All the men were in service fighting the war. And that just tells the story that everybody stepped up to the plate. Cramerton is a great place to be in. And that's my feeling here today. <laughs>